This is News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. They delivered heroin and cocaine into my home. A father's fight for justice in his son's death. 19-year-old John Bria died of an accidental drug overdose at a party at his parents' home. Now, four years later, two of the teen's friends who were at the party are facing drug charges. Hello, I'm Nancy Barnes, and you're watching News 12 Connecticut. 24-year-old Jason Cunningham of Greenwich and 23-year-old Savannah Lamott of New Haven have been charged with drug possession. News 12 Connecticut's Lisa Salvati has more. I'm thrilled to see that some justice is finally coming to him. Police say John Bria III was found dead at his parents' home on Hollowood Lane in Greenwich four years ago. There was a party going on in his bedroom the night before, and it involved drugs. At the time, no one was charged, but late Tuesday, two of Bria's friends who were at that party were charged with drug possession. Finally, after four and a half years, we give kudos to the new chief of police that took a second look, a hard look at this case in Greenwich and reopened it. Vito Colucci is a private investigator hired by the Brias to further investigate their son's death. He says he couldn't understand why the charges didn't come about earlier. They all admitted by their own admission of what they brought that night, who brought the cocaine, who brought heroin, who brought other items. And, you know, why anything wasn't done at that time, I can't answer that. Meanwhile, the Brias say they wish the teens would face more serious charges. We still have more to go because it was my son died here. People have brought him drugs and he died. Like I said, I think it, it's going to go a little bit further. My gut feeling tells me. The Breas have filed a wrongful death suit against Cunningham, Lamott, and two other teens who were at the party. Cunningham's lawyer told me he finds it peculiar that these charges weren't filed against his client four years later, that they were filed four years later, and he says he doesn't know how the police can charge him without the physical evidence. Meanwhile, both Cunningham and Lamott are due in court on September 17th. In the newsroom, I'm Lisa Salvati, News 12 Connecticut. Time now for a look at the forecast with meteorologist Jamie Booth. Jamie, it's cooling down out there. No, that's right, Nancy. Turning chilly for a few areas. We're going to have to dig out our sweater as we head out for the early morning hours. A crisp, cool night. Satellite and radar not showing any cloud for our area. I see there earlier the gray, but now nice and clear. And that will remain the story as we continue throughout the night. 53 in Norwalk, 54 in Bridgeport, and 54 in Stratford. Comfortably cool right along the coast. You head away from the water north of the Merit, and those temperatures dipping into the upper 40s. That's normal for mid-October, so certainly feeling like fall out there. 47 in Reading, 48 in Easton, and 47 in Woodbridge. Another beauty in store for our Thursday, sunshine.